Hey, everybody. Welcome to Thursday here at the Pace Studios <laughs> in Midtown Manhattan. Uh, we're really Thanks, glad man. today to be joined by uh, Lucas Hogue on my right, How's and he is joined by guitarist Thomas Becker yeah, on yeah. his right, my left. <laughs> and uh, you guys are going to play some songs from, uh, from Lucas's new record, Dirty South, yes, uh, which just came out in July. Yes, and it's doing uh, very well. So congratulations on that. Thanks, man. Um, let us know about the first song you're going to do for us today. Absolutely. This song is called To Go With The Whiskey, and uh, I wrote it with my good buddies uh, Troy Johnson and Jack Williams, and I was sitting in a little bar one day, and I was like, you know what, man? This whiskey just isn't tasting as good as it could because I'm sitting there by myself, and I called up my girl and was like, hey, the, you know what would make this whiskey taste better is you sitting right next to me. So, <laughs> so we decided to write a song about it. It's called To Go With The Whiskey. Cool. Looks like everybody's got somebody on their arm tonight Yeah, the smooth shot of single beer on Jack's going down just right Girl, you sure look good on this bar stool next to me Cause baby, you're the perfect thing To go with the whiskey I'm drinking Thoughts I keep thinking Girl, you know you turn me on A little bit of laughing all night Your lips against mine Slow dancing to a slow dance song Baby, you're all I need To go with the whiskey How about you put that little number on? It always turns my head. Let me hang on the phone and talk to you while you get dressed. Cause I don't want to waste another sip of this drink. Cause baby, you're the perfect thing to go with the whiskey I'm drinking. Thoughts to keep thinking Girl, you know you turn me on A little bit of laughing all night Your lips against mine So dancing to a slow dance song Baby, you're all I need To go with the whiskey Watching you walk that door, what can I say, baby, you're the perfect thing, to go with the whiskey I'm drinking, thoughts I keep thinking, girl, you know you turn me on, a little bit of laughing all night, your lips against mine, so dancing to a slow dance song, baby, you're all I need. Go with the whiskey Can you go with the whiskey Can you go with the whiskey That's right <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, man. So uh, I want to ask you about the record. Um, Please. You know, I've heard it uh, described as your debut album, yes. but I know that you've actually been making music for a long time, like over a decade now. I've been making music a long time. Since right out of high school, I started writing songs and putting songs together and finally putting projects together right when I moved to Nashville. And uh, I was bartering my way to get these these things made because so many I was playing all the bars downtown right and nobody had albums for sale. I'm like there's hundreds and thousands of people going through there all the time. So it doesn't have to be a great record, right? But we try I was got to have something to exactly. give people. I wanted to was to sell to make yeah, some money because right, we right, weren't making yeah, any money. Right. <laughs> we weren't making any money downtown, that's for sure. So I bartered this guy because I was a construction guy. So I started building houses and, and uh, building decks for people to get records made. So some of my first records I ever did, I bartered for, uh, 
for decks. Yeah. <laughs> and, and back also, porches. I mean, your first one was in 02, uh, yeah. and I think you are you made another one in 06, and you've Correct. been recording ever since. So yeah. how did it finally, you know, you just signed a recording deal uh, with Rebel Engine last Correct. year. Yeah? Correct, yeah. Uh, so how did that come about? Was this something that had been in the works for a while, or was just some lightning strike? Well, you know, I mean, when you come to town, you start knocking on every door, not taking no for an answer, you know, and just getting your name out there in the, in the industry. And, and you pretty much do everything that you possibly can to get known and get your face out there and, and get your songs out there. So I started writing songs and getting placed in TV and film, wrote over 200 songs for HBO, you know, placed yeah. in so, so many different films and TVs. And, and then I had another song um, on Smallville that got placed, and that opened up all these doors to the writers in town. They're like, how are you doing this, man? I'm like, because, you know, things are great. <laughs> I've got great people behind me you know it was, it was me and Laura Lynn it was awesome you know yeah. and um, so that opened up a lot of doors to start writing with some amazing songwriters and it just kind of started snowballing and snowballing and then with all these other things you just got to be so versatile in the industry these days to be able to do so many different things started hosting for TV and started doing some things like that and then it just kind of all fell and they're like hey we, we need to help you I was like yes somebody needs to help us <laughs> yeah yeah oh cool you know I'm, I'm curious about the TV work especially but uh, yeah. right now let's do another song let's do uh, it let me know uh, what, what this one is from, from the new record absolutely so I I grew up a huge Garth Brooks fan as a little boy, and uh, the first time I heard the No Fences uh, album, just it, like it was like literally a lightning strike. I was like, "Whoa, this is country music now! Holy cow, this is awesome!" <laughs> so uh, I th th thought it was going to be awesome to have this uh, song be a tribute to Garth. That's on the project right now. It was written by uh, Terry McBride and Matt Rogers, and uh, that's a whole other story. They're great, great guys. Uh, Terry's a legend in his own own right, and uh, I'd never met Matt Rogers before. And I started uh, getting asked by Olay, where he writes, to come in and start writing. And um, John Osier set up a right between me and Matt, and we'd never met. And I'd already, you know, put uh, Power of Garth on hold and was cutting it. And I sit down in front of this young kid, and he's like, yeah, man, where are you from? Blah, blah, doing all the, you know, small talk and stuff. And and he goes, yeah, this, uh, this new country artist just cut one of my songs called The Power of Garth. And I was like, is his name Lucas? He's like, yeah, <laughs> Lucas Hogue. I was like, dude, that's me. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the song, man. <laughs> so here's The Power of Garth. My old man, he worked his fingers to the bone But always made time for us when he got home He grabbed mom and me a glass of tea and those old cassettes That memory is still as sweet as it was back then Every time I hear the thunder rolls, I'm right back. Ten years old, those songs are like the soundtrack to my life. I was too young to understand why Mama cried when she heard the dance. Those melodies will forever be wrapped around my heart, and that's the power of God. I was stuck in my truck All backed up on the interstate But much too young Took me back to yesterday So I cranked it up I sang along I closed my eyes And it took me home Cause Every time I hear the thunder rolls I'm right back Ten years old Songs are like the soundtrack to my life well, I was too young to understand Why mama cried when she heard the dance Those melodies will forever be Wrapped around my heart And that's the power of God A lot of songs have come and gone and faded into dust But 
no one's ever come along and hit me like he does. Cause every time I hear the thunder rolls, I'm right back. Ten years old, those songs are like the soundtrack to my life. And now I'm old enough to understand why my Cries when she hears a dance Those melodies will forever be Wrapped around my heart Cause that's the power of God Yeah, that's the power of God Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. So, uh, you know, Garth, Garth is a guy from Oklahoma. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, you're based in Nashville now, but I know you're from Nebraska originally. Correct. And I was racking my brain trying to think of great country artists from the state of Nebraska. And you found him. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, I was thinking <laughs> there's got to be somebody, you know, because it's, it's country country. Right? right? Exactly. But, uh, but most of the musicians I know from Nebraska are rock musicians. Connor Oberst from Bright Eyes and Elliot Smith I know is from Nebraska. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, those are, those are folk guys. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, growing up, I mean, were there, were there local country musicians around <coughs> that you could take anything from? Any inspiration? No. Honestly, not at all. I mean, my dad was singing in, you know, he was like singing to tracks all across the county, you know, and anything that people need a little fundraisers for and stuff like that. So I grew up listening to my dad all the time, which was a huge inspiration for me. And, um, but there was no like iconic, you know, people that I could attach myself to. So I was grasping at anything I could get. And then when uh, the Garth Brooks album came out, I was like, dude, this is so cool, you know, and that's what gravitated me to start digging into the songwriters that yeah. are making these songs because a lot of those 90 acts, 90s acts weren't writing their own material and I was like man these songs are just crafted so well so I started attaching myself to like Skip Ewing and Paul Overstreet and Michael Peterson the guys that could craft a song that was just like one line was like the best chapter of any book you'd ever read you know yeah, <laughs> so yeah. these guys knew what they were doing so yeah it's cool you know I think country music uh you know you don't People don't think often enough about the the writers behind these songs. Uh, there's a exactly. whole, especially in Nashville, you got an entire city of world class yeah. songwriters yeah. kicking around, you know, trying to make it for years and years, and finally, <laughs> finally, wind it up on record. Exactly. So we're, you know, I mean, so congratulations for cracking through. Thank you very much. And that, and you make a great point. It's it's like all of us artists out here, we're trying to write our own songs and put them on projects, but we would be fools not to find the amazing songwriters that are in Nashville that that aren't singers or whatever, they're writing some of the most incredible songs that you will never hear ever. Yeah. You know, you go to a, the, a little Bluebird Cafe or something like that and you listen to a songwriter's night and you're like, what? Why aren't these songs on the radio? And is that something <laughs> that, has, that you think has, has changed about Nashville? I mean, when you go to Nashville nowadays, can you just try to be a songwriter for other folks or... You know, is there going to be always a pressure that you, you've got to get these things recorded yourself and out however you can? I mean, is that something that has evolved in that city over the years? Because I know Nashville now is kind of, you know, it's yeah. as crowded as, as it's ever been with, with musicians. <laughs> and, and guys like Jack White and Dan Auerbach are coming in from the rock world right. and kind of stealing the thunder a little bit. You know, like, is it, is it more difficult now? To crack through in Nashville? I, to me personally, I believe that it is, it is a lot more difficult because you need to get yourself in those little, those little niche, you know, those little clicks. Everybody kind of likes to write with the same people sometimes, but you got to tr really try and write with the artist that's going to be out there um, recording the songs or know somebody that's in the camp that writes for that person, blah, 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 and just kind of squeak your way in and try and write with absolutely anybody that will say, yes, let's write, because yeah. it doesn't matter if they're low on the totem pole or tall on the totem pole. Because they're gonna, you're gonna see each other on your way up and down <laughs> while you're living there. So just ride with everybody, have fun. That's what it's all about, you know. Bring the music back to life, you know. Yeah, cool. So uh, tell us a little bit about the next song you're gonna do for us from Dirty South. Yeah, this is a this is one of those songs that uh, I wanted to write a story that started from when we was kids and going up till now. You know, us being stupid adults out on the road. You know, some of the stuff that we run into. <laughs> And uh, it was me and actually the guys that I wrote the, the, the single with. So uh, this one was uh, written with me and uh, 
Andrew Scott Wills and Casey Timmer, great, great guys. Casey just has the, you know, the number one record with Kelsey Ballerini, you know. Yeah. He's a fantastic dude. And, and I was talking to all of them, and I said, hey, guys, um, what's the first experience that you remember getting in trouble with your dad? I mean, like, really in trouble. And all across the board, we were, like, smoking cigarettes. <laughs> we got caught smoking cigarettes out behind the barn or wherever we were at, you know. And I could still feel my dad's thumb and forefinger on the back of my neck every time uh, you know, <laughs> I do something wrong. Where would you get them? I, uh, we stole them from our, I think, my friend's dad uptown or something. I don't know. It was, they were lucky strikes, you know. Yeah, yeah right. The real, the, the real thing. Yeah, the real thing. And that was the first and last, you know, yeah, at the right. same time. So thank God for dad. No, no smoking. Don't, <laughs> don't smoke, smoke, kids. <laughs> don't even try it, right? Well, sometimes you got to. <laughs> so it's called That Ain't Cool. I was young and dumb and full of something, wondering what it's like. I went out back and struck a match and lit up that lucky strike. When I felt a hand on the back of my neck that let me go with that cigarette. And I looked up and there was dad, and this is what he said. He said, I know your friends at school might be doing it But take my word, it ain't worth fooling with Man, that ain't cool No, that ain't cool He said, I know it's hard in this world with the fitting in But you gotta know what you're getting into Cause that ain't Senior year, ice cold beer in a party on Sycamore Hill. I had a fast machine, was about to leave it tonight. I think about still when that kid from class saved my ass. He told me not to drive, took my keys and said, Ride with me. Yeah, you know, he just saved my life. He said, I know our friends at school. Might be doing it Tonight's been fun Don't go ruin it Man, that ain't cool No, that ain't cool You see the road is full of folks Out cruising it A roadside cross No one doing it, dude Cause that ain't cool That ain't cool That ain't cool A hotel bar, a lonely heart And a girl who understands she saw my ring, said that ain't no thing Yeah, boy, just take a chance But like I always do Well, I thought about you And said, girl, that ain't cool Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, brother. So we're going to be, we're lucky enough to get a, a fourth song out of you guys today. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, one thing I wanted to ask before we get into it is, uh, you know, the, so the name of this new record uh, is Dirty South. And yeah. I know that you, you made a record about 10 years ago that was just called Dirt. <laughs> yeah, and so oh, naturally, I'm curious, is that a word or an idea that has stuck with you? Like, what is it about that concept that, that you like? Well, I grew up in the dirt, man. I grew up on a small little farm in rural Nebraska, a town of 44 people. And that's all we did as kids. We worked uh, with our families on the farm, and we worked for other families on the farm. And growing up, and that's the only thing that we all had in common, I mean, was the dirt that we were working on was ours. Nobody could take it from us, you know. <laughs> so it's like and th th that's when my dirt came about. You know, I wanted to write a song about growing up on the farm and, and uh, struggling to keep that land, you know, your own. 
and man, I haven't heard that that uh, that title in a long time. Yeah, is that I mean, cool. is that something that connects to the new record, or that's just sort of a almost a coincidental use of the same? It's kind of coincidental in a in a roundabout way. Um, I I fell in love with the South and where I live, you know, and 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 everything down there. It's just a beautiful place. I mean, the rolling hills and the trees and stuff. And in Nebraska, you don't get all that. So yeah, it's like I wanted to incorporate, you know, the two of them together. And and uh, the Dirty South thing. And I've got a song on there called Alabama Louie as well. It kind of ties in. And so it's kind of got a, a an even flow and an even vein of similarities for sure in in all the records that I do. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. You know, it's funny. You think of you know guys who come up from Nashville and play for us. It's almost like we just, you know, it's like a, an assumption that they are from the South and they're right. talking about their roots. <laughs> but we do get a lot of guys. You know, we had uh, we had a couple from, down from Canada. Uh, this guy Coulter Wall, and nice. uh, I think um, I don't know Charlie Warsham's not from Canada. But anyway, um, we just did a show with Charlie. He's awesome, man. Yeah, he is awesome. Man, he he, can he play. did a great show for us uh, a few mo- a few months back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, everyone takes on a certain kind of, you know, that Nat Nashville charm. Absolutely. And uh, they bring it from wherever they come from. And so it's great to have someone from the state of Nebraska, right a Cornhusker. You went to you went to Lincoln, right? Nebraska Lincoln. I was actually a worship leader on the UNL campus. I didn't go to. I couldn't afford UNL. <laughs> so I went to the tech school thirty miles down the road. <laughs> All right. In, yeah, close enough. Close enough. Exactly. But still, Nebraska for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I'm a huge Husker fan. So hopefully, we're going to have a great team this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm a Badger, so oh, hopefully not man. too great. But we'll uh, we'll get to that later. Nice. So you're going to do one more for us uh, yeah. from uh, from Dirty South. Let me tell me what that's going to be. Well, this is actually the title cut. So this is Dirty South, the single that's currently out there right now and um, doing amazingly well on country album sales on Billboard and everything. And, and I wrote this with uh, my buddies that I wrote to go with the whiskey with. So this is a Troy Johnson, Jack Williams uh, co-write as well. And uh, Jack, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but used to be a staff writer on the Who's Publishing Company back in the day. So it's really cool to just sit there and talk with this guy. I mean, yeah. he's got a little organic farm across from <laughs> the Loveless Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee. If you have all, all ever been there, it's... It's pretty amazing. So, uh, I'll was... sit. Man, we got to write that thing. He's like, okay, let's write it right now. So, I was like, it's dirty, swampy, and sexy all at the same time. So, uh, cool. Here's Dirty Sal. Yeah. Ready, bro? Yeah. One, two, three. Look at you, leaning back on the hood of my Chevy well, Damn girl, that thing never looks so good Jump it, crank it up, and drive us on out Where well, there ain't nothing but you and me Couple hot beats, getting real close I wanna hear you go, ooh baby, good and late Cover me up like country gravy Underneath the shade of an old magnolia A lemon cheese and cherry cola with a kiss From your lips Lay it down, down in the dirty south mm, yeah, yeah. Baby, let's take it slow Like sipping good old whiskey Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about I think that muddy water's telling me To wiggle you out of your blue jeans So we can take a dip for a little bit Girl, don't you know I want to go Ooh, baby, good and lazy Cover me up like country gravy Underneath the shade of an old magnolia let me cheese that cherry cola with a kiss From your lips Lay you down, down in the dirty south yeah, man. Ooh, like a honey on a biscuit stick I wanna hear you go. Ooh, 
yeah Let me hear you go Chase that cherry cola. I hear the muddy water. It's been telling me wiggle you out of your blue jeans, and we can take it there for a little bit. Take it down, 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 yeah. Let me chase that cherry cola underneath the shade of an old magnolia. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. That's a great song. Thanks, man. Uh, so it. the album and that song, it's called Dirty South, uh, came out in July on yeah. uh, Rebel Engine. Uh, right. It's doing great on the charts, so congratulations on thank finally you. breaking through. And, <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, having a great album, uh, you know, that you can really tour on, and you guys are on tour. I think yeah. you're heading out. You got some East Coast dates coming up, and then you're going out west, I believe. Absolutely. We're heading straight up to Pennsylvania, doing a show right now, um, this afternoon. And then we'll do a show with uh, Old Dominion on Saturday. And then I'll be in Colorado for a couple days and then be in San Diego doing some shows out there as well. And then back and forth. We're like crisscrossing the United States the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> you know, get it while it's hot. You know? Right, exactly. So, uh, yeah, so the album is Dirty South. Uh, have a great tour. Uh, you know, thanks, thanks so much for coming to, to Pace and playing for us today. Uh, everyone, Absolutely. by the way, the, those dates are on lucashogue.com. You can find those there. Correct. Uh, so thanks to Lucas. Thanks to Thomas Becker. Thank you. Um, thanks for coming to, to Pace and playing and come back anytime, guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Great experience. Appreciate it, man.